This is Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. Sunday Morning uh, by Maroon 5 is really, is really simple. It's just three chords repeated with, you know, a little sort of in-between part. So, but the majority of it is just three chords. And what I want you to think about is what's called a 2-5-1 progression. So the two, so if you play, if you're in the key of C, all these white notes starting with the C, the two is the D, the five is the G, and the one is the C. So you may have, you may already start hearing, you may already begin to hear the song coming out there. So Sunday morning, rain is falling. Yeah. You know, steal some cover, share some skin. Cool. So this song is really great for experimenting with jazzy chords. So I'm not going to teach you exactly the way it's played, but I'm going to give it to you pretty close, and I'm going to let you experiment with it. So the first chord you want is a D, uh, actually a D minor, and it's a D minor nine. <laughs> so a D minor nine. So here's the way to think about it: you play a D, and then you skip over white notes for about five. So you get D, F, A, C, and E. That's your chord, D, D minor 9. Sunday morning. On morning, you move your left hand to G's. Your right hand plays F, B, and E. So what you're basically playing there is... Uh, you've got your 2. What you're basically playing there is a G minor 7. Uh, plus six. <laughs> G minor seven. G minor seven or G minor six plus seven. I'm not sure exactly, but basically, you're playing kind of notes in this G chord with some sort of peripheral notes. So, without getting too confusing there, let's start back again. D, skipping every other white note. D minor nine. Uh, whatever this is. So G's in your left hand. F, B, and E. It's kind of bugging me now. Eh, I'll figure it out later. I'll put the chords up on the top there. And then C, so in your left hand, you go to C, and your left hand plays C's. <clears throat> your right hand can play a lot of different things, but one sort of beginner option is, is to do the same thing that you did with D. You skip every other white note. So C, E, G, B, and D. So here's sort of a, sort of a cut and dry, simple progression version. You get your D minor nine. You've got your whatever this is related to G, and then you get your C major C nine. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Loops and loops and loops. Um, so let me show you the little in between part before I extrapolate on that part a little bit. So th there's just this the part that goes. back into that progression. So that little part that you need to know there is just, it, it, the best way to do is learn it by ear. Listen to it and try and figure it out because it's just one melodic line. I'll show you with just one hand. You can double it up if you're skilled enough. But C, D, D sharp, E, bum, 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 bum. Then you go to this B and you walk down half steps. B, B flat, A. And then the next part is B, C, G. B, C, G flat, B, C, F, ooh, that's low, F, G, and then this part is G, A, C, C, A, C, G, A, C, C, A, C, bum, so that part so far, bum, 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 So you basically repeat that twice, and then on the second time you go up to a C sharp, boom, and that gets you back into the. I really know that part. So that's pretty much it. Um, now, if you're still hanging around for the rest of this tutorial, it's so that you can like experiment with some of these jazzy, jazzy, yummy chords. So basically what you want to think about there to get you started is you play the roots, the D, the G, and the C, 
and you experiment with exactly what chords, exactly what you play on top. So here, you can add that C, for instance. Okay? And here's what we were playing before. Maybe we want to play a, a 6, and maybe, maybe we want to put a 6 in that C here. So instead of playing just a C9, we might move this, uh, the B from the, from the last chord that I showed you the first time, the C9, we can, instead of playing a B here, we can play an A. So just that one change, I'll just play the rest of the chord and just make that one, uh, the rest of the progression and play that one change and, and listen to the difference, so. It's got kind of like a, you can drop that. So you have a lot of uh, options, basically. Um, that little lick, it was just sort of Maroon 5-ish, I don't know if it's the exact lick, but if you want to learn it, the way to do it is to play a G, a C, an E, a G, and then you're going to go to this G flat F sort of... So you're going to roll down from that F sharp to an F, and you're going to do all half steps. So with your middle finger, F sharp, F, E, and you'll get on that E with your two. Then you hit this C with your thumb. So you get you get to that C with your thumb, and then you're gonna bring your three finger over and hit an A, and then a G. And if you can do that really fast, actually, you know what I found is even easier is just to use your two on that A, and then use your thumb on the G. So just do that over and over until you get it. And when you get it, you got it. Sunday morning, rain is falling, yeah, yeah, steal some covers, shave some skin. So that's it. So play around with it. I hope that helped you. Um, and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Here's a castle.